Okay, in this session, I'm going to explain how we can open the KiCad schematic tool and create a symbol for our components to be used in the schematic. So if you just downloaded KiCad, you might have to install some libraries like uh, schematic and uh, uh, the symbols library. So I'm going to show you how, how to proceed. First, open KiCad. In order to create a new project, go to File up here on the left-hand side and click New and select Project. You can, um, you can select the respective location where you want to save this new file and name it. But uh, for this demonstration, we'll call it New Design. And click Save. Once your new project is created, uh, it opens automatically and you can see uh, these two files. One is board file and the other one is the schematic file, which we already created. To create a new schematic, double click on it. We need a schem schematic design, which we, we can draw over here. Now, if the schematic design is available, you'll find certain components such as capacitors or inductors or maybe simple ICs, like, you know, regulators on the right, side, right hand side here. Click a symbol and uh, then you can drag it over here, the center frame. All the libraries will load and you'll see this window pop up. These are pre-installed libraries and symbols which already exist in KiCad. So for instance, we can click this schematic symbol and place it in frame. Now, if a symbol is not available, you can create a new one by clicking Create, Delete, or Edit Symbol. But before you create a symbol, you need to create a new library. Now, all the libraries you can see on the left-hand side are built-in libraries, but you, you won't be able to modify them. Um, if you go here on, on the left-hand side under File, click New Library, and you'll have to browse to the location where you want to save it and name it. So then you'll have these two options. <clears throat> Excuse me global or project. Basically, if you're using this library specifically for your uh, current project, you can select project. If you select gl uh, global, this library uh, can then be added in to predefined libraries, which already exist in KiCad. For this demo, let's just select the global one. Now your library is created. To create a new symbol, go to file again and click new symbol. So, and then you'll need to select the library in which you want to save the symbol. We can save this in um, our library, we'll call it New Design. So this window pops up where you can name your symbol. For instance, I see, and then, yeah, then you click OK. Now you can see I see, which is the name of your symbol, and U, which is your reference. Select reference and move it from the center. Repeat the same action with IC. Now, to set the grid, right-click on the screen, and you'll see an option called Grid. It's um, best to keep it to 50 mils. Um, well, let's zoom out. Let's say you wanted to create a symbol for IC. Over here on the right-hand side, click the rectangle called Add Graphic Rectangle to the symbol body. And you can select it and draw a box. So before connecting the pins, which are nothing but terminals of your IC, you need to fill out the background of this box. There are two different ways to do this. Um, you can either place your cursor on this line, right click on it, and then select Edit Rectangle Options. Uh, select Fill with uh, Body Background Color, and it should color the entire shape. Yep. Another way to complete this action is to keep the cursor on your line and then uh, click E on your keyboard. The rectangle drawing properties window will appear and then you can uh, directly sec uh, select this fill and body background. Now you need to place the pins. So on the right hand side, click the A1 symbol and then drag it and, uh, and then click, click the screen. The, so the pin properties will pop up. Now, let's pretend this is a, a regulator. A, regula a regulator has basically three pins, which are input, output, and ground. Uh, therefore, we will require three different pins. Fill out the pin name and the pin number field. And here, uh, we will write in 
in and one. So you can personalize the other properties. Let's say you wanted to rotate and place the pin on the left hand side. Right click on your screen and select rotate clockwise. And like that. Now repeat the same action for the other two pins. And the, the second pin name will uh, be G and D and the pin number two. As for the electrical type, you have you have the option to choose unspecified. So click the screen, select rotate clockwise, and uh, you can place the pin over here. The last one is output. The pin name will be out and pin number three. Once the, uh, so once the pins are in place, right click on the screen and select end tool. And you can see the, the pins are placed and the names are given. Um, the symbol is completed. So save. Remember this library name, which is new library zero here, and the symbol name, which is IC, right there. And you can see um, at the left hand bottom side corner, right there. Once you save the symbol, you can minimize your window. And um, to use a symbol in your schematic, open your schematic page, and on the right hand side, uh, click place symbol. And then you can drag it to the center of the screen. The choose symbol will uh, also, it, it pops up. Now, search for the library. Here, it's new library 01. And you can see symbol IC we just created. And place it on the schematic, right click, select end tool, and save it.